The Toronto Argos with their second pick of the first round, ninth overall, the final pick of this round. And for the Argos, it's due to the Zach Caleros trade. And if you're the Argos, given what you gave up to get Caleros, this is pretty good value. But if you're the Winnipeg Blue Bombers who had to part with that, but it led to a great cup, you're probably not complaining that much at all. And with that pick, with the ninth pick and the final pick in the first round, Theron Churchill from the University of Regina, offensive lineman, goes to Toronto. Dwayne? Yeah, and th this is another one of those guys who brings a little bit of attitude and certainly brings some size to the offensive line. Theron Churchill, about six foot five, six foot six, moves well. And one of the things that stands out about him is his toughness. He brings that offensive line nastiness. Again, you think about University of Regina, you've got some guys coming out of that school that have been well coached. Um, you know, when you, you think historically about Brendan Labatt, Brett Jones. Um, guys that are going to be ready to play. Theron Churchill's a guy who's a little bit older, having played some junior football with the Edmonton Huskies before going to University of Regina. So he's going to turn 26 during his rookie season. But what that also gives you an indication of on that young offensive line is a guy who's going to be able to come, come in and compete right away. He's going to be a little bit closer to, to being pro ready for you. Yeah, Theron Churchill, you do hear nasty uh, when you hear about Theron Churchill. Uh, they're looking for an identity there. There's a lot of turnover in Toronto, and I mentioned it earlier on. They have some guys there, some, some linemen, some Canadian linemen, but who's going to emerge from there? So I see this pick as, as them saying, hey, let's, let's, let's just load the cupboards here and then compete because uh, I talked about what they did in free agency. They have their set at a lot of other Canadian spots, and, and not just set, but they have flexibility with the guys they acquired in free agency. So why not load that offensive line knowing that you're going to play some guys there and let the best just emerge from that group? Well, I think one, one of the things that appeal to the Toronto Argonauts about this guy is the position versatility, that he can play guard, he can play tackle. And as, as they're assembling what will eventually be sort of their, their offensive line, hopefully for years to come, he's going to mix in well with Shane Richards, the number one pick in the draft last year, and the other young players that they assembled over that time. So, as you say, they get a young player, but a guy who's more physically mature, who can come in and contribute right away. But he gives them that versatility. And, you know, when you hear that word so often, teams whatever position they're talking about, if a guy can give them another role, that really boosts his value, and that's something the Toronto Argonauts see in this player.